welcome to statistics class now yesterday session we discussed two problems under poisson distribution today uh, further two more uh, class uh, two more problems we will discuss under today's session different kinds of problem now here read the third problem on an average the number of defective items in a box is 4 if there are 100 such boxes if there are 100 such boxes in how many of them do you expect one defective item and at least two defective items now here you can easily write the value of lambda what is the value of lambda on an average how many defective items in a box on an average there four defective items so lambda is equal to 4 now here such kind of how many boxes are there it's about this defective it's about one particular box such kind of how many boxes are there such kind of 100 boxes are there what is that 100 n is equal to 100 capital n is equal to 100 now based on that 100 two more questions you will get in how many of them would you expect one defective if 100 boxes are there in how many boxes you will expect one defective that you have to find out the one defective for one box then you have to multiply with 100 then here also at least two or you have to find out at least two defectives of one box you have to find out then you have to multiply with 100 now here as usual write the x what we are finding out number of defectives number of number of defective number of defective items number of defective items they have not given which items then x equivalents s x equivalents p lambda value is 4 here then probability mass function p of x is equal to e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power x divided by x factorial where x is equal to 0 1 2 3 3 infinity next according to this problem p of x is equal to e to the power what is the lambda value 4 into 4 lambda to the power x x we don't know 4 to the power x divided by x Boxes out of hundred. How many number of boxes? 
contains one defect number of boxes having having exactly exactly one defective item exactly one defective item how to find out here n into p of x so what is the value of n here n is 100 into p of x 0.0732 so when you multiply you get 7.32 but we cannot say item it is 7.32 approximately 7 approximately 7 this is about first question p of one defect now we move towards the second question we see the second question here so here they have given that is at least two defect at least two means p of at least two so here one minus p of zero plus p of one at least two means p of zero plus p of one now take here one minus e to the power lambda that is four lambda to the power x zero divided by zero plus e to the power lambda lambda to the power x divided by x factorial now here one minus what do we get e to the power lambda that value is 0.01833 here four to the power zero that is one divided by one plus e to the power minus four that is zero point zero one eight three into four divided by one now here one minus here what we remain zero point zero one eight three plus multiply with four here also same calculation we get zero point zero seven zero seven three two so here one minus if we add these two then we get zero point zero nine one five then here at last at last we get answer as sorry we get answer as
boxes in how many boxes having exactly two defective items and at least two defective items and exactly one defective items now we will see one more other kind of problem under poison distribution now we will see next problem this is other kind of problem the probability that a knife manufactured by a firm is defective is 1 by 50 defective is 1 by 50 if knives are supplied in boxes of 50 each in a boxes of 50 each in a lot of thousand such boxes how many boxes contains three defectives p of 3 at least one defective knife now here there was one uh, there was one feature in case of poison distribution what is that feature if p is if p is very small if n if n is large if n is large and p is very small then in case of binomial distribution then binomial distribution we cannot treat in x variable x we cannot treat that problem in binomial distribution such distribution in such case binomial distribution considered as poison distribution binomial distribution tends to poison distribution binomial distribution considered as poison distribution in which case where n is large, this particular n, we are not speaking about capital N, this particular n, small n, where n is large, as I told, we solve at the most n is 8 or 10, okay, we can solve them. 8 or 10 also you won't get, maximum we have in your textbook it is 8 n. n and p is very small, p is very small in such case, Binomial distribution is considered as poison distribution. Now, read this problem. The probability that a knife manufactured by a form is defective is 1 by 50. See, here they, they have not given on and average. Such kind of sentence is not there. That will come in direct poison distribution problem. Is 1 by 50. If knives are supplied in boxes of 50 each, in a lot of thousands of boxes, how many boxes contain? One defective, sorry, three defective and at least one. See, this is a poison distribution problem. Actually, this, sorry, this is a binomial distribution problem. See, here easily we can identify in case of solution, we can identify P here. What is P? One out of 50. It is very small proportion, one by 50. And then we can identify that is 50. And also capital N that is 1000. See, easily proportion they have given. One proportion out of 50. One out of 50. Then Q is 49 by 50. That is not necessary. It is very small proportion. And mainly N is very large. We cannot calculate it by normal distribution. And capital N. When you have these three items, 2000 and 50s are there. And one proportion they have given. So this is a binomial distribution problem. Now we need to convert into poison distribution problem. How we need to convert? Now we have read x is number of defectives. Number of defectives in 50 boxes. 50 boxes. And x equal ends b. What is the end? 50, 1 by 50. Parameter we have to write. Uh, N and P. Now, write one sentence. Since, since P is very small and N is large, N is large, very Variable x, variable x treated as poison distribution, poison variant, binomial variant x, right here, binomial, binomial 
variate X treated as poison variate with parameter with parameter lambda. Now we consider now we consider binomial distribution as poison distribution with parameter lambda. Now in poison distribution mean is lambda. So lambda is equal to binomial distribution what is v? Np. So lambda is equal to Np. Now what is Np? Now we have to find out lambda. What is n value? n is 50 and p is 50 by sorry 1 by 50. What do we get when we multiply? We get here 1. We get here 1. So what is the value of lambda? Value of lambda is 1. So lambda in poison distribution is equal to n into p in case of binomial distribution. So n p we get as 1. So that is equal to lambda. So here value of lambda is 1. Value of lambda is 1. Now we have to solve in case of poison distribution. Now solve the problem here. Now what we need to write? Probability mass function. Probability mass function P of x is equal to e to the power minus lambda e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power x x factorial x is equal to 0 1 2 till infinity now according to this problem write the value of lambda sorry write the probability mass e to the power minus lambda sorry lambda value is 1 and lambda to the power x divided by x factorial and where x is equal to 0, 1, 2 till infinity. Now take the first question. We know that value of lambda is 1. Take the first question that is 3 defect rules there. First question P of 3 defectives. 3 defectives is equal to P of 1. P of 1. Now substitute into the formula e to the power minus lambda. What is the value of lambda here? That is 1. Into then lambda to the power x, x is also 1 divided by, sorry, x is 3 here divided by x factorial that is 3 factorial so is equal to, now we have to write the value of e to the power minus 1 see the table, exponential table in statistical table there, 1 1 that value is 0 0.3679 here 0 0.3679 0 0.3679 into 1 to the power 3 that is 1 divided by 3 factorial what do we get 3 factorial 3 into 2 into 1 that is 6 3 factorial is 6. Now 0 0.3679 into 1 divided by 6. If we do then we get 0 0.0613 0 0.0613 So this is the answer of exactly 3 defectives. But here we have capital A. Now number of defectives in a lot of thousand. What is that thousand? In a lot of thousand such boxes, how many boxes contain? So number of boxes, number of boxes having number of boxes in 
a lot of thousand number of boxes in a lot of thousand having exactly three defectors exactly three defectors what we need to do so here n into p of 3 so n is 1000 into p of 3 is 0 0.0613 what do we get there there 160 0 0.0613 we get there 61.3 so approximately this value is 61 approximately it is 61 61.3 now here it is end of first question now the second question at least one defective net now we have to see at least one defective now take the second question there p of at least one at least one means 1 minus P of 0. Now take the formula. 1 minus P of 0 means e to the power lambda is 1 and lambda to the power 0 divided by 0 factorial. So here 1 minus e to the power one, minus 1 that value is 0. Point 3, 6, 7, 9 and 1 to the power 0 is it is 1 and the 0 factorial also it is 1. So 1 minus 0 0.3679. Here we get if we deduct from 1 0 0.3679 we get there 0 0.6321. 6321. Now we have to find out in a lot of thousand how many boxes have how many boxes contains exactly sorry, one defective net now number of number of boxes in a lot of thousand having exactly sorry having at least One defective. One defective. Question is about knife. We can write it. One defective. Knife. Here also we could have written one defective. Knife. Take n. Knife. So here. Now. That is n into 1 minus p of 0. n is 1000 into p of 0. 0 0.6321. When we multiply this, we get that. When we multiply, we get that. 632.1. Approximately 632. This is the another kind of problem. Where the problem is, it's a binomial distribution kind of problem. We are converting into, we are considering a Poisson distribution problem. What we need to find out? With the information of P and L, we have to find out the value of lambda. Then we have to solve like a Poisson distribution problem. The reason is here the P is very small and value of N is large. So we are considering binomial distribution problem as Poisson distribution problem. So today we completed two problems, two different kinds of problem. Based on this we will get worksheet problems. Now some other problems we will solve in the next session that is tomorrow's session. Today with this we can find out. Thank you.